For practice to exercise 6.9 word wrap, we need to write a method called word wrap that accept a scanner as a parameter that represents an input file. So we're going to start with a public static void word wrap and in our parameters we're going to have a scanner and we'll call it input because it's an input file. And then we're going to close these brackets and it needs to output each line of the file to the console. It needs to word wrap all lines that are longer than 60 characters. And for example, if a line contains 112, the method should replace it with two lines, the first containing 60 characters and the next containing 52 characters. And then we're given another example here. So what we can do, or what we need to do, is have some loop that goes um, a certain amount of times. We have to output our string. We have to output 60 characters because it's asking for 60 characters. We have to output 60 characters on one line. And then we have to go to the next line and output the 60 characters and the next line. So the first basic thing that we need to do is get the current line. And we need to do this for all of the lines of input. So we'll have an outer loop because we need to run through all of our lines and we'll do well input dot has next line and again this is just going to be our outermost loop running until the file that's being passed in has no more lines. Next we want a while loop and or actually before our, this while loop we want a string that stores the current line. So we'll do string we'll call it current line and we'll set it or we can just call it line for simplicity. So we'll do string line is equal to input dot next line. And this will give us the current line. We have a condition if it's longer than 112 characters, we need to only print out the first 60 characters. So we'll have a while loop that handles this. And it will print out 60 characters, and then it'll print out the next 60 characters, and then print out the next 60 characters until there are no more characters. So this has to be greater than 60. And this is going to be length. We have to first analyze the length of the string. We'll say int length is equal to line dot length. Um, and then this this length is um, getting the length of this string right here. So it's getting the length of the current line. And then we have while our length is greater than 60, this is going to output. But we only want to output the first 60 characters. So to do this, we can use a substring to break up our string. We'll do system dot out dot print line. That way it prints the current line. And what we're going to do in here is we're going to take our line and we're going to print it out. But we're going to give it some conditions. We're going to print it out um, with the substring method. And it's going to start at the 0th index and end at the 60th index. However, we know that we don't want to print this out multiple times. What we want to do is get the first 60 characters, then the next 60 characters, and then the next 60 characters, and so on until we are equal or less than 60. So we're going to have to have a starting value and an ending value, and then increment this every single time this loop runs. So before our loop, we will have an ints, we can call it start, and we'll set it equal to zero, and we'll have an, yeah, we'll have start equal to zero, and then on the same line we'll declare an end which is also or which will be equal to 60. So when we do line.substring we'll do 0 comma 60 and there will be a video below more about substrings. So this will execute from 0 to 60 and we're just gonna have our start and our end in here. 0 to 60 is just what it represents. So we have start and end, this will print out the first 60 characters, and then we need to increment this to the next 60 characters. So after we do this, we're going to say that our end is plus equals another 60, and also our start 
plus equals another 60. That way this will go up in an, an entire 60 and then when this runs again the start will be 60 and the end will be 120 getting those characters. Next we have um, to also subtract 60 from our length otherwise this loop would run indefinitely. So we'll do length minus equals 60 and the reason why we're doing minus equals 60 is because after we've printed out 60 characters here we can subtract that from our length because that's already out. Now if we are passed in a line that has less than 60 characters or we're passed in something like 112 where only the first 60 are in here and then we just have a number that is less than 60 we need a system um, dot out dot print line to catch that here that'll print out the rest of it and this is going to print out system dot out dot print line it'll print well we also need to use a substring here just in case we've gone through this while loop and we've already printed out a majority of our string so we'll do line dot substring and in our line dot substring we want to have the current start value because again if we were going through a while loop and then we're breaking out of it we would have had incremented it here so we want our start value and we also want the current length of the string so we're not going to want to mess with the length we don't want to do the end because um, the end is a 60 away however if there's only 57 characters left it's not going to have 60 and it will throw an out of bounds exception I think so um, what we need to do is get the current start which if we went through this while loop would have been incremented here and then we need to get the ending value well to get the ending value of this current um, string we'll do line dot length and this will get the current line length once we have this we can submit it and make sure we put the correct semicolons and this is a long piece of code so it'll take a while to run but after it runs we can see that we have passed the test so this is the code that will give the answer to this problem the main key point is using substrings and that is the way to go about this